A downriver man's checking account completely wiped out after a phone call with who he thought was a representative of this credit union. Our Megan Woods shows us what happened and how to make sure you don't deal with the same thing. Many of us get bank alerts sent to our phone, but for one wine dot man, it's what started this nightmare. Now, his credit union, Zill, is doing everything they can to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. It's heartbreaking. 3,000 hard-earned dollars gone in a matter of minutes. We know it happens in a lot of industries. We're certainly not the only one. But when it's your finances, right, it's scary. It started with a text and a call from what a man thought was Zeal Credit Union, asking if he was making an $800 purchase in a different state. They then told him his account had been compromised and helped him change his password and PIN. But instead of helping him get out of the scam, they walked him right into theirs. You can still get something that looks very credible in nature and think immediately, I need to respond to this. And so you're clicking on links, you're calling information, and you need to just take one moment and reach out to your financial institution. Since this happened last week, the credit union has been warning customers about the scam with emails, Facebook posts, and even a ticker on their website. But this isn't the only scam out there. The Better Business Bureau says phone scams are on the rise in Michigan. The highest age demographic to get scammed is 25 to 34 year olds. Um, we're on the internet more. We give out information more freely. You know, we're on social media. The key is to never underestimate to make the lengths these people will go to get your money. They have the technology to spoof phone numbers, spoof caller IDs, and even if you aren't on things like social media, chances are there's something out there about you, what bank you use, what car you drive. In this situation, Zeal was able to get him his money back, and they say if you find yourself in a similar situation, make sure you reach out to your bank or credit union. I'm Megan Woods, Local 4.